Hi everyone, it's Mike here. Today is Saturday the 9th of January. Uh, a while back I asked if you would like to participate in the Mission Inspiration series that I've been doing and collaborating with other YouTube artists. And many, 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 many of you said yes, you would love to be able to get involved and do the missions yourself. So I offered to set up a Facebook group and I'm happy to report that I have now done that and the address where you can find that Facebook group is just here. So if you pop along to that Facebook group you will find January's mission and I will be putting a mission um, brief or a mission challenge up there for you every month of 2016 and you can play along. So all you have to do is to go across that Facebook page and look at the inspiration video, the mission inspiration video and have a play yourself and you can just upload pictures or links to your videos or whatever you've created on that page. So I look forward to seeing exactly what you created with the prompts that I'm going to give you. So without further ado, it wouldn't be right that I didn't have a go myself with the prompts, so that's exactly what I'm going to do now. So first of all is January's challenge and then my page for it. <laughs> Welcome, Art Agent Specialists. Your mission for January, should you wish to accept it, is as follows. You must create an art journal page or canvas with the following instructions. 1. Apply patterned under paper or tissue. 2. Cover with a thin coat of gesso. 3. Use at least two rubber stamps. 4. Add torn strips of book text. 5. Add three collage elements. 6. Add three colours of your choice. 7. Make marks with white or black paint. 8. Add a quote or phrase of your choice. 9. Add doodles in black or white or both. And finally, Add drips or splatters. This message will self-destruct in three seconds. Good luck. So I'm working in my 10 by 10 art journal and I'm going to adhere down a piece of zebra patterned tissue paper right the way across the full width of my page. So I'm just going to stick it down and then I'm going to seal it in once I've positioned it properly uh, and seal it in to make sure it's fully stuck down before continuing on with the next step. So this is step number one. And I'm gluing it down with the matte medium from Mod Podge. Step two, I'm going to cover my zebra pattern with a thin coat of watered down gesso. This gesso is from Indigo Blue. Step three, 
is use at least two rubber stamps. Now these are the classic set number two from Stampers Anonymous designed by Tim Holtz. And I almost forgot to say I'm using the Potting Soil ink from Ranger and it's the Archival by Wendy Vecchi. For step number four I'm going to glue down some torn strips of book text. Now this is a piece of book text that was recently sent to me in some happy mail from Hanny Tromp, my friend from the Netherlands. And to glue it down, I'm just using the same matte medium from Mod Podge. So to make sure it's all nice and dry before moving over to the next step I'm just going to bring out my heat gun and give it a liberal blast over to make sure everything is nice and dry before I attempt the next step. So step number five is add three collage elements and I'm going to glue those down using the triangular collage glue stick from Ranger Inc. Steady on girls and boys, don't get distracted, concentrate on the art. I said art, not abs. So now I'm going to glue down this clock. Yes, you did hear right. And I'm going to position it underneath his hand to hide the rugby ball, which I've already pre-cut round his fingers. And while sticking this down, it would have been far more sensible to stick down the background pieces before I stuck the torso down, but for some strange reason, I wasn't really thinking straight. Step number six, add three colours of your choice. Now for this I'm going to use uh, three Neo Colour 2s that I've taken from my stash and I'm using red and brown tones. So um, I'm not going to put down the names of the actual Neo Colours themselves because I couldn't actually find them on the, um, the crayons themselves but I'm using reds and two shades, two shades of brown and I'm just going to blend them together with some water directly on the page. Now because I've already used um, the matte medium on here and a little bit of the glue, it, it is quite um, movable. You can move the paint very, very easily. And I will bring out the heat tool and try and set some of the color um, before adding others. So you'll see me adding 
and moving it around as, um, until I'm happy with it really. So step number seven is to make marks with white or black paint. Now for this I'm using the Reeves Titanium White and a piece of scrap card and I'm just going to apply some marks using the edges of the card across and around the page to create a little bit of a border and to try and break up some of those colour blocks. So step number eight is to add a quote or phrase and I'm going to use my Dymo Letra Tag just to print off a couple of um, strips that I'm going to use and stick down because it's self-adhesive. Step number nine is to add doodles in black or white or both. I'm choosing just to use my football pen here and I'm just going to add black doodles because I think the white uh, lines that I've already added in are enough. I don't need to add any white doodles. So I'm just going to go around my collage items uh, with the pen and also add in some cross hatching doodling where I think it needs to blend in a little bit more.
And the final step, number 10, is to add drips or splatters. And I'm using the same Reeves uh, white or titanium white acrylic paint, and I'm just going to use my fan brush, add some water to it just to water it down a little bit, and then add my splatters to it. Now I'm going lightly at first, and then I'm going to go back in and add some larger drips where I think it's needed. And then before I finish off, I'm just going to bring out my heat gun and give those splatters a real good blast to make sure that they're all nice and dry before I finish off by trimming off all the excess tissue paper around the edges of my page. And now we're almost complete. The last task for me to do is just to sign and date the page. And that's it, we're all done. Well, I hope you enjoyed that art journal page that I created using the mission inspiration prompts for January. And I don't want any comments being left about him holding his clock. Thank you. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. And don't forget that Facebook page that you can play along with is just here. See you all again real soon. Bye for now.